No, you're just. Laugh not, fools, for the joke is on thee. So, Tabitha, tonight on MSNBC, Cortez was on TV. I almost called her AOC. Now, Cortez was on TV basically trying to do damage control after the disaster of the Green New Deal. Now, the thing is, I guess they're counting on people being totally ignorant. But, folks, if you don't understand, the Green New Deal is total horseshit. It is so bad that they denied uh, aspects of it. They're like, oh, no, wait, that wasn't in there. No, it wasn't. And if you've seen our video about it, um... <laughs> if, trying to say it was leaked and shit when she is the first one who actually goddamn released it from her own account. Yes, okay, and it's ridiculous stuff. And also there's some really horrible socialist and cultural Marxist crap in there. No, cultural Marxism isn't an alt-right term. See our video about how it's actually a cultural Marxist term going back to at least 1973. This is socialists in America using this term, not the alt-right, you idiots out there, okay? I own a book. I physically own a book from 1973, Critique of Domination by Trent Schroyer. There's a whole chapter on cultural Marxism, and this is the kind of crap they want to play. They have identity politics as a part of that, and in the Green New Deal, it, there is identity politics stuff, like you're going to penalize or reward people depending on their skin color or something yeah. to that effect. No, fuck you, you fucking racist cunt. Anyway, I want to add here that the last time that a socialist or a communist government implemented a big, big plan, as big as and as ambitious as the Green New Deal, right? It was called the Five-Year Plan. This was early in the USSR, and they thought that they had, they okay, they had the same audacity that Cortez has, which is that they think that they can manage insanely complex systems. And if you know anything about chaos mathematics or economics or ecology or all these things, you realize the, these things are just way too complex to manage. You just can't. You just have to let them do their thing, okay? But in the USSR, the communist government thought that they could manage the entire economy of the USSR. And you know what happened? Millions of people were starving. And you know what they did to cover up how, how big of a failure their plan was? They killed millions of people. They came up with all sorts of excuses, all based on identity politics, although they didn't call it that back then. But they basically, you know, anyone who disagreed with their party, anyone who actually owned some sort of land or a farm or a horse or even, you know, uh, a, a plow. And also, yeah, they were also gearing up to kill a lot of Jewish people, too. OK, when Lenin died, they were building concentration camps for Jewish people. And when he died, they just sort of, they, Stalin was like, eh, you know, I'm not sure this isn't economically feasible. He brings in a five-year plan, and then they go ahead and kill a lot of people because a lot of people were dying anyway, okay? So, and, and part of it was all also what the, what's known as Lysenkoism, okay? Because they, they thought, this scientist Lysenko thought he could manage all this stuff through some sort of genetic, okay, new technology. See, that's what it was. He thought that he can come up with new technology, genetic technology, to grow enough food in five years to feed a lot of people. Turned out he was wrong, okay? New technology, new green technology. See what I'm saying here? The Green New Deal also purports and has ambition like, yeah, we know what we're doing, we're just gonna green energy. No, you don't have a clue what you're doing, okay? If people were stupid enough or if you had dictators, like they had, uh, like Stalin was basically a de facto dictator in all but name. He was a dictator, okay? If you had a dictator that could implement the Green New Deal, millions of people would die. I guarantee it. But thankfully, people saw right through it. Nobody voted in favor of it, okay? It wasn't just right-wing conservatives. Nobody voted in favor of it. Nobody. And the Green New Deal was absolutely ridiculous. And yes, people did mock it as they should. But get this, Tabby. Hmm. MSNBC tweeted this out a few minutes ago. Quote, I didn't expect them to make total fools of themselves. Unquote. Cortez told MSNBC's <laughs> Chris Quote, I expect a little more nuance and I expect a little more concern trolling. Unquote. Now, this is great because... This is the idiot in the room who's like, they're so stupid. <laughs> when everybody knows who's the stupid person in this room here. Oh, yeah. This is hilarious. She's not going to ever stop making a total jackass of herself. And here's the thing. 
this is an intelligent test. There are a few people like, she's totally smart and everybody else is stupid. Anybody Thank agrees with her? Please, forced sterilization all around. Yes, but my point here is that, well, okay, that too. But you could, this is an intelligence test. If you're one of those people who goes, oh my God, she's like smart and like uh, the Green New Deal is a good idea and all those people that are making fun of it, they're just stupid. You know, like, what did she say? I, you're making total fools of yourselves. Okay, now we know who the idiots are. Thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah, we know who uh, shouldn't be trusted with heavy equipment. Now, yes, we know who should be wearing hockey equipment on their head, even when they aren't playing hockey. We know who shouldn't really be reproducing. Yeah. <laughs> and then they have the audacity to play a video clip or a, a, a collage of uh, people on, I guess, Fox, what they call it, they call it the Trump Network. Right, people on Fox all making fun of her Green New Deal and calling it socialist, as if by playing that it makes them look good. Okay, look, you idiots don't realize you just handed us some gold. It's like a condensed condensation here of people, you know, probably the smartest shit you'll ever hear on fucking Fox News. A bunch of people making fun of her Green New Deal and calling it socialist because it is okay. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know what, I bet you some of them probably mentioned that it was racist and based on identity politics, but you wouldn't play that on MSNBC because nobody wants to talk about that who is in favor of the Green New Deal. That's something they don't want to talk about. They're not proud of that. They just want to sneak that in. Part. You well, want to benefit people based upon their fucking color yeah. and skin tone, but yet at the same time you're bitching that people have based the system upon their color and skin tone? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Did anybody else catch how big that stupid was? It's like a wave of what the fuck and how dumb are you? <laughs> All right, I'm going to play a short little clip from the MSNBC show. I just want to give a little taste of like, it is a 24 hour on, on Trump TV. It's yeah. a 24 hour in the conservative movement. It's 24 hour AOC GND. Like yeah. that's, that's what it is. Yeah. Here's, here's a little taste of what it looks okay. like. What is this green new deal? Answer, radical environmental socialism. A real serious threat to our way of life. An absurd socialist manifesto. It's a green socialist manifesto. It's a socialist experiment. It's like your kids spew nonsense at you and you're like, quiet, quiet, learn something before you come back to me. She was a bartender like two years ago. She's kind of adorable. It's sort of in the way that a five-year-old child can be adorable. And she's ranting and raving like a lunatic. They're trying to get rid of all the cows. I support cows. I've got a hundred cows. <laughs> no more milk, no more cheese, no more steak. No South Dakota milkshake. Cheeseburgers and a milkshake will become a thing of the no more hamburgers. We're going to ban hamburgers? They want to take away your hamburgers. This is what Stalin dreamt about, but never achieved. <laughs> yes, the infamous yeah. Stalin five-year program to yeah. get rid of hamburgers. <laughs> ah, so they mentioned Stalin's five-year plan, and then they just laugh it off. Now, wait a minute. It is very similar to Stalin's five-year plan. I just explained why. And these people are so stupid, they're laughing at it when they really, they don't realize the joke's on them. Um, were you expecting that? Yeah, 100%. That? Well, I mean, I mean that, there's, they, they took it to 11. It is next level. I didn't expect them to make total fools of themselves. <laughs> And there you have it. She says, I didn't expect them to make total fools of themselves. And then you get thunderous applause in the audience. Okay, those that, those people in that audience, those are the people that shouldn't be trusted with heavy equipment. <laughs> See the audience here, folks, in this still shot? These are the people that shouldn't be handling heavy machinery, as Tabby says, and shouldn't be having kids, as Tabby says. These are the idiots that have no idea how ridiculous they are while they laugh at people who are making fun of them who are a lot smarter than them. Um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm first and, and foremost um, saddened and upset. <laughs> oh, goodness, folks. Um, if you dare, watch the whole thing on MSNBC or, you know, watch the rerun of it online or something like that. But there you go. By the way, folks, make sure that you subscribe to us on BitChute. See that first link below. We're always getting in trouble with YouTube and it's only a matter of time before they shut our channel down. We're not going to shut up. We're not going to stop saying the things that get us in trouble. So subscribe to us on BitChute, everyone. Thank you very much. Peace, love, freedom, and equality. Truth, justice honor, hope, courage, humor, personal responsibility, and individual liberty. Thanks for watching. No, <laughs> Thanks for watching.